Hi, I'm Raj Sodi. In what follows, I'd like to illustrate the process of taking an ADS schematic and bringing the layout into Expedition. It took me a few tries to get this right, so now that I think I know how to get it right, hopefully I can spare you the trouble. Okay, so here's a filter, and that's encapsulated in this uh, layout lookalike component. There are various goals to achieve the filter specifications, an optimizer, an S-parameter engine, and then the dimensions of the filter, which are encapsulated in this variable. Pushing into the filter, we have microstrip lines, steps, um, some meanders, which I had to create in order to get the X dimension of the filter correct. And because the Y dimension was not that wide, I had to add some bends to make it not go off the side of the board. Anyhow, so let's assume that these variables have been optimized and we're happy. Then we can generate a layout. I included here some of the launch going into the filter, so now I'm only interested in the filter, so I'm going to delete the extraneous stuff. Okay, so this is a parameterized instantiation of the filter. You can check that some of the dimensions are correct. Okay, the next step is to generate artwork. So this will flatten the design and allow it for easier export. File, generate artwork. Okay. I have often found it helpful to set the origin right at the middle of the launch of the filter. And since I have grid snap off and it's snapping to the middle of any features, I can zoom in. This will reset the origin. So then when it gets imported into Expedition, it will sit exactly how you want it to sit. Next step is you see that all of these are individual polygons and shapes. So what we would like is to merge all of these into one gigantic polygon. So I do select all, control A, and then edit, merge, union. So now, if I click anywhere in here, it'll highlight the whole thing. That being done, now we have to go into DX Designer and Expedition. In DX Designer, we have a very simple layout, and the resistor R1 and R2 are used as placeholders to generate independent nodes that can then be referenced once the RF shapes have been exported. If you click here, that'll launch Expedition. It takes a while to load. That's already been done. So here's the board blank. And it's a matter of now bringing that filter and placing it exactly how we want. OK. So I go into RF mode, so under Setup, License Modules, you have to have this RF thing checked. And then that'll enable this icon to come alive. Having done that, we have to establish a link, a connection between ADS and Expedition. So we do that by 
adding a particular library. So if you go to Manage Libraries, you can see that uh, there is here um, mentor da lib.defs. So including that lib.defs is critical. And once that is included, then this menu pick will show up in ADS. So we click Start Mentor DA Server. Defaults are fine. And now Expedition has to access this server as a client. So you click on RF Connect using that chain link. This brings up this window. We click Connect. And if this line doesn't show up, you can hit the star Add Connection, and that'll make this line show up. So we hit connect. And now we have to send the generated artwork, which has now been flattened and so forth, into, into this layout. So go to artgen underscore temp and under mentor DA send ADS layout. This will launch Oh, yeah, that's right. It requires a schematic view. So that requires adding ports. That's important. And schematic, generate update schematic. That'll generate a basic schematic only showing two ports. Not a very exciting schematic, but uh, this is necessary, evidently. And let's save it. Okay, now under Mentor DA, let's send the ADS layout. So this brings up RF mapping information. So the question is, what nets should the various ports be assigned to? and what layer should go to what layer from the ADS space to the expedition space. So a lot of these settings have already been set. So here there's lots of choices on layers, but the correct layer is layer one, which is a microstrip layer. We'll call that a signal. And then here, shape type, it's easy to get this one wrong. It's not a plane, it's not conductive, it's an RF shape, so that's important then ports 1 and ports 2 will be on layers 1 and the mentor port name is 1 and 2 and these get assigned to net names filt underscore p1 and filt underscore p2 which correspond to the nodes in the schematic so having set all those data stream initiated data stream completed. Okay. So it looks like it came in exactly where I wanted it, although many times it won't do that. Let's uh, look at how we can move this filter around. So under Edit, you go to Circuit Move and Copy, and this will bring up a dialog box where you can select which object you'd like to move. You can unselect all and say RF groups and that'll allow you to just select this RF group. Well, I see that all the everything's colored in. I'd like to have it not colored in. So under layers menu we can go to general and instead of display patterns being checked, uncheck that, now you can see the outlines. Okay. So now if you click Move or F2, that'll allow us to move this filter around. And so here we have to line it up on the right side, and we also have to line it up on the left side. Okay, let's select it again. and I'd like to place it right in the middle of this via at the 
at the edge of the copper for the capacitor, the block DC blocking capacitor. Okay, having placed that, it's all done. And now I need to rope in the right side of this. So to do that, I have to add a meander. Here you can see it's assigned to an RF group, which is MS1, microstep 1. The snap angle is 45 degrees, because I'm going to make a 45 degree bend over here. And I want the width to be 20 mils, which in my case represents a 50 ohm trace. And the chamfer cut should be 26%. Okay, so I'll click the middle of this via, which is a castellated via, and then once this comes to the middle of this line here, click once more, and now it should snap to the end of my filter. See how it's kind of sticky there? Done. Okay, so the other thing I will point out is that in order to improve the launch from the castellated via to this little daughter board, we found it necessary to compensate for the inductance by adding some capacitance right at this interface. So you can see that fattened area on this side as well as on the other side. Over here there's a fattened area. Okay, so that concludes my demonstration of exporting the ADS layout into Expedition. Thank you so much.